Hello everybody, um, another toy review from me, and yes, I know I changed where I'm going to do my reviews. Uh, this way I have more room, uh, the place where I was doing it was a little cramped. Well, anyways, here they are. These are the 25th anniversary re-releases re of the, uh, 89 Turtles, I believe, no, 88 Turtles. Um, the... I got them all at Target for about eight dollars, and um, yeah, it's um pretty cool. So you know, let's uh, get to my favorite turtle, and um, we'll go ahead and review them. Alrighty then, I'm gonna start out with my favorite turtle, which is uh, Raphael, or Raphael, whatever one. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. Now, the detailing for... Well, you know, I'm not going to go over the detail just yet. Alright. I'm going to go over the mold of the figure first, because they are quite different from the 88 Turtles. Now, the 88 Turtles actually had more squishy heads, like you could squish them. Now, I'm not saying, you know, one will pop on the head and they're going to go in. You know, it actually took some force, but... Even with all the force that you got in your hands, you will not be moving these guys' heads in. This is solid. Whoa. Let's move that back up. These things are solid. Um, also, the mold is a little different. Here, let me um, take off Raph's belt. Um, little gay saying right there. Okay, so... The mold around on the shell is really well done. I actually like it more than the other turtles, um, the 88 turtle shells, because the 88 ones, it looks really greasy, like it's just really shiny black, and I don't like that. I kind of like it, this dull mold that they got here, along with the front shell. Let's put his belt back on. But... I really am glad I found these guys. Right when I heard out they they were re-releasing them, I I was like, oh my god, I gotta get these guys. Cause I've only owned well when I was younger, I owned just about every main character, but uh, stuff happened. All right, now on to articulation and detailing. So his head can rotate 360 degrees, as well with his arm. And this little midpoint right here can also rotate. Um, they can also round their legs. And that's about it. But you know what? They're freaking Ninja Turtles. They do not need to have a lot of articulation. they got plenty. They've got enough to punch, look, and even kick. Awkward kick position, but still. And they're one of the very few toys that can sit well. I can just sit really nicely. Anyways, let's get him back. Now, every turtle has their own kind of foot position. Raph, by far, has the best of the four. He's got flat feet. No curved. Look at that's perfectly flat. It's easiest to stand. All the others have this arched foot and it's pretty hard to stand them up on carpet anyways on the table it's easier any flat surface but at this point I'm just leaning them up against the wall now on to the detailing the detailing on these figures are really good for the yeah they're just really good these are the turtles with the muscles that you can actually see to where the 2003 ones they didn't have any you know as much muscles I mean these guys are like showing off their freaking turtle biceps all the time, like turtle power. Biatch. Look at that. Yeah. Well, anyways, you know, the detailing on these figures are really good. I even like the little feet detail. You can see all the wrinkles. See their veins on their biceps. And, you know, even like the little throat thing right there. That's about it. Even some of the thigh muscle. And they have, of course, little scratches on the shell. 
The accessories, well, each turtle comes with these things. They come with the shuriken, two to be exact. So two shuriken, put those aside. One of these uh, pizza cutters, which Raph actually has a pocket for. So Raph's pretty, he, he gets an extra pocket. He's cool like that. Um, so does Donnie, but some people don't seem to point this out. Donnie has a tiny pocket right there to where none of the other turtles have him. But Donnie gets the little tiny pocket, and I guess you can probably, like, try and stick a shuriken in there. But, yeah, Donnie gets a tiny pocket. It's kind of useless, but still, he gets a tiny pocket. But, you know... Uh, Don and Lee also have the straps across. Back to the accessories. Alright, they also have this thing, which I believe, this thing is a, I believe is a Shuko spike. Which, if you don't know what that is, uh, basically you cling to the wall like Spider-Man. And they have this thing, whatever this is, I'm guessing you just go, that, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, this is just pointless. Overall, the turtle's accessories, sadly, are just pointless and stupid. But, not for their weapons. They each come with, of course, their weapons. Raph, of course, with the, uh, Sai. The Leo with the Katana. The only bad thing is these things are really strained at the bottom. You can even see a tiny little crease right there. Probably not, because of the quality, but sadly, my Leo's swords are getting a tiny crease, so I stick them in their pockets, and I don't use them, sadly. Along with Mikey, he's got the same thing, little creases right there. And Donnie, with the most sturdy weapon of the group, the Bostav. And, of course, Mikey has the nunchaku, or nunchucks, whatever one you want to say. Now, these turtles all technically get the same grade. I would give Raph and uh, Don the same grade, but Leo and Mike sadly do not. Raph and Don pass with a 10 out of 10. They are just great. Um, there's not really anything to nitpick about them. There's nothing wrong with them. The only thing that Raph's got a problem with is his, yeah, weapons are a little flabby, but not nearly as much as Leo's. Let's go on to Leo, who is basically the same. He's got all the same articulations. I don't have to go over detail or anything. But, sadly, his katanas uh, lower his uh, score. Thanks a lot, you stupid katanas. <coughs> yeah. Sorry, Leo, but, you know, yeah, the katanas really do just suck. But, we're going on to the worst turtle of the group. Not, not, like, in overall, but the figure-wise. Sorry, Mike, you're the worst. What? How's this possible, dude? I don't know, Mike, I don't know. Yes, Mikey, I'm sorry, guys, he does stink. Um, the 1988 one actually is not as bad as this one. The problem with this one is the pockets. They are the biggest pain in the ass to get these items out. Once they're in, they're in. You have to force your way to get them out. You have to push, and I don't want to do that. And then not to, well, to top that all off, um, the nunchucks can snap so easily. I remember when I had the 88 one, um... I was playing with the nunchuck, and I think he just hit a wall, and the end just went and popped right off. And uh, the other problem is he can't hold his nunchucks due to the fact that this hole in his hand is gigantor. I mean, this nunchuck can literally slide in and slide out. Slide in and slide out. Look, you can even do that. I've even tried the 2003 nunchucks, those don't even fit either. I don't even think these accessories fit. Yeah, look at that. These accessories don't even fit. I've tried... Oh, maybe the pizza cutter will. Yeah, not even the pizza cutter does very well. <sighs> Nothing 
fits in his hand. Mikey, you stink. You get a 7 out of 10. You got the same grade as a Spider-Man 3 figure. What? Yeah, Mikey. You're my favorite turtle from the 2003, but for figure-wise, you suck balls c compared to the others. Well, guys, um, time's uh, getting a little high. Um... So, you know, take my word for it, and if you're just looking to aim for one turtle, I would go with Raph or Don. Well, holy crap, sorry, Raph. There we go. I would go with Raph, Raph or Don. Uh, most likely, your best bet is Donnie. Hey, how about you shut up? So, Don wins. Dun-da-da-da!